It will happen to many of us, getting tested for common cancers like colorectal, breast or prostate. And if something suspicious is found, your doctor will likely order a biopsy. It's a tissue sample taken for closer examination. So what happens to that sample as you wait at home and anxiously wonder, is it cancer or not? At Sunnybrook Health Sciences Centre, thousands of such tissue samples are sent to this state-of-the-art lab every year. The first step is receiving the sample, giving it a unique patient number and fitting it into this special color-coded plastic cassette, which allows different solutions to pass through it during processing. These solutions dry out the tissue overnight so it's ready to come here, to this so-called embedding station, where the sample is removed from the cassette and covered in liquid wax and then cooled over this cold plate. You might wonder why, but the wax actually suspends the tissue sample, allowing it to be cut into a thin film, much like slicing salami. That's critical to form the section that can be examined microscopically. Several sections from the sample have to be examined at various depths, looking for possible cancer cells. Each thin film is then placed into this small round hot water bath, where the technologist can literally scoop it up onto a glass slide. Sunnybrook's highly skilled technologists know which sections are appropriate to look at, and when they find them, they're immediately placed on a glass slide, labeled with the patient's information to eliminate any mix-ups. Sunnybrook's lab generates a little over 1,000 glass slides every day. Once the section is on the slide, it needs to be stained, a process that takes about one hour. These stains allow the microscopic visualization of cells for the pathologist to do their yeah, job. So this is a new um, staining system that we acquired and it will make Sunnybrook one of the most advanced laboratories in the country. Uh, this machine uh, gives us real-time tracking of problems in the lab so we can attend to any problem as soon as it occurs. This new technology stains the slide in the horizontal position where the stain drop on the slide, eliminating the possibility of transpositioning malignant cells from one case to the other, and that prevents any chance for false positive results. Then another technologist matches the slides with a pathology report before they are sent on. Another shiny aspect of our practice is, the, is that we have teams of pathologists subspecialized in different types of cancers. So for example, uh, we have pathologists specialized in uterine cancer, colon cancer, prostate cancer, and so forth. Subspecialization in our department is an added feature that we offer our patients since approximately 10% of our cancers as a tertiary care center are unusual or have unique features that require the expertise of highly trained pathologists. Once in the pathologist's hands, the process can take a day or longer for more complicated cases. While it's a process most patients have never seen, Sunnybrook's expert pathology teams deliver leading diagnostics. So when patients finally get the news, they'll know that it's accurate. With Sunnyview, I'm Monica Mattis.